what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Havoc OS on this device and as you can see the Havoc OS version from here is version 4.2 and this ROM comes with two different variants one includes the G apps and one doesn't so there is the vanilla variant and the G apps variant and as usual I have flashed the G apps included variant over here and this is the 24th February 2021 build and if you look at the about section here we have the Havoc OS logo up top and the android version is android 11 of course if you are noticing this as you can see let me go back the Havoc OS version is 4.2 the security patch is latest of february 5th 2021 then the stock kernel is excalibur plus kernel and the slinux status is enforcing the build date again is 24th february 2021 that is the build number you can look at from there right now let me jump into the system this is how the system panel looks like and we have the developer options because i have enabled that but there is no system updater that's what i wanted to show you and we have the gboard as the default keyboard of this rom and there is also violet parts over here in the settings so you get the display kcl stuff so you can turn it on and customize the whole display colors so that is great let me go back we have the AC Linux mode changing option then we have the enable fast charging option this is the usb fast charge with a usb 3.0 port or something like from a pc so this is not about the 18 watt fast charging but that 18 watt fast charging normally is working fine no issues with the normal 18 watt fast charging there is also a clear speaker option then we have the me audio enhancer or the me audio direct and with that you can get the youth edition and stuff and all these headset presets and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well here is great no issues so far and we have the preset changing option too for the sounds then we have the vibration intensity from here and you can also change the torch intensity from here so that's great now let me show you the stock launcher first let me actually go into the about section we have the shady launcher over here as you are noticing and in the gestures we have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen so that is great we have the swipe down for notification swipe down to clear all and stuff then we have the icons and from here you can change the icon packs if you need and we have the icon size changing option too then we have app icons to the home screen option inside grid we have the dock icons over here you can change that and the column and row numbers over here and inside app drawer we have this hiding app option but the app lock is not there in the launcher but it is there in the settings i'll show you that later on but as you can see you can hide any particular app with this launcher too and then we have the icon labels in portrait or landscape mode over here and we have the multi-line labels and the suggestions you can disable so that is a really great thing and i have disabled the suggestions as you are noticing let me go back we have the home screen settings from here we have this allow workspace edit and stuff then the google feed integration and top gradient etc you can enable or disable multi-line labels is there so yeah you can enable a lot of things on this launcher and we have the google's discover page to the left side of this launcher and swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel i will show you that later on but swiping up again gets you to the app drawer and as you can see no suggestions over here because i have disabled that and from here you can search for any particular app as you are noticing so yeah that is great the launcher is great and the widgets and stuff on the home screen is working fine right now let me show you the finger mid scan speed quickly over here if i double tap anywhere in the home screen as you can see the phone just went to sleep so right now let me tap the finger mid scanner and as you can see it has unlocked let me try one more time and as you can see again the finger mid scanner speed is fairly fairly fast even with my right hands in index finger as you are noticing the finger mid scanner speed is very fast and very reliable finger mid scanner over here Talking about the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like and you can add and edit multiple toggles over here. As you can see, there is a gaming mode and stuff. Then we have reading mode. This turns the display in like grayscale mode, I guess. And there are a couple of things. But let me actually show you. I do not see the FPS info toggle over here. Maybe I cannot just find it for some reason. Also, there is no reboot toggle. I cannot simply find that too. So yeah, that's how it is on this Havoc OS. Let me show you. We have the heads up disabling or enabling option from here. Then we also have this like screen recording option and stuff. And with that, you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time. So that's great for the screen recorder. But yes, again, you do not find the reboot toggle or the FPS info toggle. I cannot simply find it. Now, the only disappointment I would say I have for the Havoc OS is the stock camera. And as you can see, this is a very basic kind of Google camera, the very old kind of Google camera. Yes, it takes basic pictures, but the UI of this camera just does not like look good to me. So this is just not my taste. 
so yeah i do not simply like the stock camera but definitely if you want to install anix camera or something you can do that by just following that video from the card right there and also you can install google cameras or something if you want to other than that this rom is packed with everything almost let me show you in the settings we have the configuration center as usual in havoc os and here we get hell lot of customizations in my opinion and inside over here we have the status bar items and inside clock we have the am pm style date etc enabling option then we have the status bar logo you can enable it if you want to so yeah as you can see right now i have enabled that there is the havoc os logo up there on the left and there is the brightness control so you can slide a finger on the status bar and that will adjust the brightness of the screen as you are noticing and of course we have the double tap to sleep to on the status bar and we have the need to work speed carrier level etc enabling option then we have the icon style for the battery and there is the circle portrait etc but there is no big dotted circle or something as you can see and there is the battery percentage enabling option next to the icon and inside the icon then you can enable battery bar if you want to inside status bar options we have all these headset bluetooth etc icons then we have small mobile data type and the notification count for the status bar then inside quick settings we have the quick setting quick pull down then we have the battery estimates and we have the tint tiles option then column and row number customization for the quick settings panel is there and the user switcher icon and stuff is there let me go back inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep the quick settings option like you, if you disable it you can't pull down the quick settings i guess and inside over here we do not have any option to always unlock with the fingerprint scanner or something so that i do miss and there is a charging info option right now let me go into the ambient display there is a battery level and stuff and lot more things like the adjusting the brightness of the always on display if you enable that and there we have the gestures option here we have quickly open camera so that's great you can double press the power button to launch the camera if you set the default camera over here so yeah you can do that if you want to let me go back from here we have the system navigation gestures and inside gesture navigation in the settings we have the gesture bar length you can change that and we have the additional settings this is the extended swipe kind of actions you can customize that then we have the left edge right edge stuff and we have dead zone customization let me go back yes the pill bar is quite long right now because i increased the size but you cannot adjust the thickness of it and there is the two button and three button navigations too let me go back we have the prevent ringing option and then we have the power menu here we have the advanced reboot so let me actually show you the power menu this is how it looks like we have the google's like smart home kind of thing and if you tap restart right now as the advanced reboot is enabled as you are noticing you can directly reboot to like recovery or fast boot or just the system ui or you can directly re reboot the system so this is the long press power button to toggle torch when the device is locked that works fine and we have the swipe rotate screenshot and this is how it works and as you can see there is the share edit and delete option but as of right now there is no scrolling option over here the notifications we have the edge lighting enabling option then the heads up notification notification header noisy notification etc options are there inside battery saving we have the suspend action block sensors etc then we have the media controls and from here you get these kind of controls and inside misc we have the gaming mode again then wake device and the charging animation option inside about you can see the developers names and stuff and you can donate to the developers from here of course and also let me show you with the voice trigger hey google as you're noticing hey google worked totally fine and here are the android 2 and geekbench score of this rom inside battery this is how it looks we have the like battery percentage over there and the battery icon over here if you tap it you will see the full battery usage you can get six to seven hours of screen on time with this rom and fast charging or the 18 not fast charging is also working fine again and there is the battery saver adaptive battery smart charging mode then we have full charge lasts about how long and this is just an estimation and there is a screen on time no battery temperature or the charging cycle shows up over here let me go back we have the display settings here we have the brightness level dark theme and let me show you actually the dark theme here we have this kind of dark theme and it is completely dark like pitch black but there is no option to change that i guess so yeah that's how it is and inside night light we have all these scheduling option and here we have the adaptive or auto brightness inside styles and wallpapers we have these kind of styles and from here you can also like change these icons and stuff and let me show you these are the fonts that you get over here and you can customize the like accent color from here of course you can set a particular theme or create a particular theme i mean and then choose that accent color for your system let me go back from here there is the clock style so as you're noticing these are the clocks that you get 
and inside wallpapers of course you can download and like apply any of the live wallpapers by the way the wallpaper which i'm using over here is from the wallp app i'll list it below in the description do not worry and here we have the dpi changing option lock screen kind of stuff and from here we have the wake screen for notification and stuff double tap to wake is there then we also have the prevent accidental wake up option and with that this is very good that like let me show you if my device is in locked state so right now if i cover the top part of the device as you are noticing if i tap the fingerprint scanner it won't unlock the device so yeah that's how it is as you are noticing right now i'm tapping the fingerprint scanner but it's not unlocking the device so that is great that if your device in your pocket it won't unlock and right now if i tap the fingerprint scanner as you are noticing it just unlocked so yeah this is a very good feature with the pocket detection mode right now let me jump into the sounds and this is how it looks like of course we have the media call ring etc volume stuff and vibration and haptics is there you can customize that with these many vibration patterns and in call haptics you can enable that from here or in call vibrations let me scroll down we have more things like the volume steps you can customize then we have dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound etc and the screenshot sound too you can disable and by the way this is how the volume panel looks like and as you can see you can expand the volume panel pretty easily no issues so far with that let me go back we have the security option over here and things get interesting from here because as you are noticing there is a fingerprint option of course i showed you the fingerprint scanner speed there is a face unlock so let me actually set it up so right now i just completed the setup of the face unlock so right now let me just double tap to wake and as you can see this is the face unlock speed let me try it one more time as soon as i double tap it unlocks the device whenever it detects my face as you are noticing again the unlocking speed is very very fast and reliable no issues so far with the face unlock also there is the app lock so that is great so from this ui as you are noticing there is the app lock and there is the authenticate only once option if you want to enable that for some reason and this is how you can lock particular apps as you are noticing i have locked the telegram app and you can lock even more like any app over here also you can hide their notification on the status bar if you want to as you are noticing hide notification content over here so if you do this right now telegram apps notification is completely hidden so that is great and let me show you as you can see right now i have the telegram app locked and right now i have to tap the fingerprint scanner or use a pin to actually unlock so right now let me use the fingerprint scanner and as you can see i'm into the telegram app and from here as you are noticing it does not show the like apps content over here even on the recent panel so that is great and talking about the recent panel as you can see there is a screenshot option clear all option and the share option over here right now let me talk about some other things like the led rgb remote app and with that the ir bluster present on the device is working flawlessly if you are noticing so no issues so far with the ir bluster and that is working super fine and it does not force reboot the device or something so that issue is just not here talking about banking apps yes banking app should be working right out of the box as it passes the safety net test over here so no issues with banking apps on this rom and talking about the drm info well the drm info for me shows as l1 because i have not broken it on my redmi note 7 pro so if you have not broken it it will be fine for you it will show l1 and you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos tenant in tntp over here so that was it for the havoc os on the redmi note 7 pro and even for the k20 pro it's available and i would say havoc os right now is a pretty good option if you can like live with the things that i just showed that some quick toggles are missing the stock camera is not that good and stuff like that so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now